Hi guys, this is Diego, Techie Life. And uh, today I got this uh, little tutorial on how to utilize this iPad when it is iCloud locked. Um, so this, uh, you can barely see here, it's model number A1475, something like that. It's the cellular model. But I know that this method works for pretty much any iPad and I think possibly any uh, iPhones that are locked as well too. So first off we're going to, let me focus in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn it on. And it's going to be pretty quick, uh, the, the method here. So this is kind of a backup as far as um, if somebody, let's just say somebody sold you an iPad and you know you didn't know uh, it was iCloud locked or maybe you, you thought it was a dead battery and you turn it on and it turns out to be locked. Uh, this is kind of a backup way to utilize this iPad and not fully lose out on it. So the first thing to come up with is going to be... Uh, this right here. Let me bring this down. So it says uh, English. So I, I actually have this Wi-Fi already in here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and press the center button here. And we're going to go to the Wi-Fi settings. All right. Let me cancel this out. So let me just show you all real quick before we head on to something else. So I want to go to the Wi-Fi that, that I'm in, right? I want to click on that I. That I, basically, I want to change this DNS server here. I want to configure it. So we're going to go to configure. And the DNS server that I, that I have here, it's 104.155.2.2. Dot five eight. Okay, so if you change that to the manual, this will pop up to the server, DNS server. Let me go back, and uh, everything should be still the same thing. Automatic. Uh, the URL URL here we want is www.icloudbypass.com. Okay, and let's go back. And you, you may have to actually put manual U, uh, URL here. Sorry. No, you just leave it on back then. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and join this network. And give it a couple of, uh, give it a couple of seconds here. Let it think. Um, so right now it's connected to my Wi-Fi to that uh, DNS server. And it should pick up over here. Give me a second. Let me, let me try this again here. So what I, what I want here, it's supposed to be a splash page that comes up here. Let me, let me go to another Wi-Fi and then go back to that one. So let's see. I'm gonna hide my password here so y'all won't see it. Actually, yeah, I probably saw that. Oh, incorrect password, of course. Let's try this one. Probably incorrect as well. <laughs> All right. I have two two Wi-Fi's here, so let me go back to this one. Let's let me forget this network. All right, so that works there. Let me go back to this guy here. OK, 
Okay, so this is the splash phase that I'm talking about. It's a it's a basically a DNS bypass server. Um, what this does is it takes you to a server that was created just for this purpose, um, and that server will allow for you to uh, go on the internet. And so basically, you know, if if you have iOS 11.2, you're probably going to be need to you need to use this. Um, but the cool thing about this is it, it's kind of like uh, its own, you know, page in embedded in, in the, the iPad. The only thing I don't like is this banner here that stays here for pretty much for the whole time. But, you know, there's cool things. So, like, if I go to menu here, um, there's certain apps that I can use uh, throughout this page. Uh, the ones that you'll probably be using is probably, like, video. If you just want to use YouTube, you can go to... YouTube and it should take me to the YouTube uh, page now it's not the the app itself it's the the internet app as an internet page but it's still pretty cool that you know you can still utilize this iPad even though it's locked here um, I mean it, it's pretty interesting and you can see here about this device and this is 11.2 um, but yeah that's it so you know hopefully I know you probably got scammed or something like that but uh, oh and don't press do not press done because then you have to redo this whole thing all over again uh, so basically you would just turn it off and that's it um, but hopefully you know this helps you out and you're not stuck with the paper away like this um, the only only other way of get, just getting your money back is if you sell the the iPad online or something like that as for parts only. Um, so let me know what y'all think. Hopefully that helped y'all guys. I will be posting uh, more videos up later. To the next one, later.